Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is blindfolded forehand. So you don't need to actually get a blindfold. You can if you want to. But all you need to do is close your eyes. And I have a lot of my students do this. We had one of the, one of the big complaints why people missed is they said that the racket face opened a lot. That they'd go to hit and they noticed the racket face was open, the ball would fly out. So this is gonna help with that because you want to get this down, you want to film yourself. So a blindfolded forehand would be this, and you can do open stance, you can step in, and what I want you to do is not control it by being tight, but I want, to, I want you to control by how much you, the pace of what you use your hips. Okay, see the more aggressive I am with my hips, that racket head's gonna swing through, the more slow I am, but you see I'm, I'm, I'm there's no resistance there, I'm just super relaxed. But the more slow I am with the hips, I'm going to have a slower swing. And then the more I kind of go back and then accelerate the hip in, the racket head's going to want to go. Okay? So what you can do with these blindfold forehands, I'll do a couple, is we're going to start slow and hit. Start slow and hit. Letting that hip go. And I really imagine myself, I'm visualizing myself swinging out to the target. And then what I want to do is now I can increase with the hip, push the hip in. So then, you know, bring it up to where you're almost going full speed. And what you want to do then is then watch the video back. Get coach's eye. You can take it frame by frame. If you've never done this before and you're a three, five and below and you're, and you're struggling with topspin, there's a good chance that when you come to contact, you might be opening. And so that's the first show I want you to do. Then I want you to break it down. And a lot of people have trouble with this. And you're gonna have to be a little tighter for this because you gotta jam on the brakes. So we don't wanna be this tight at contact, but it is a good drill to see where you're at. And so now you're gonna be blindfolded, blindfolded and go to swing and stop at contact. And then what you wanna do is open your eyes and look at your racket and go, is that gonna go in? And for me, this is what I like because you see the strings are slightly facing forward. I came up to the ball. I'm right there. I like that. What happens if I'm a little off? What happens if I give it a little tweak and when I open my rackets like that? And I see that's actually, even though it's just a little bit off, it's going to go into the fence, especially if I put a lot of energy into it. So now what I want to do is I want to look at it for three seconds and go, okay, let me change that and let me feel what that feels like. And you keep doing that until you can do it on autopilot. So you come here, you swing, you look at it, you're like, oh, that's, that's open. And then you correct and you just hold it there for about two to three seconds and look at it and feel it until you can all of a sudden match that feeling. Now, once you start to get that, then again, what you can do is stop it is stop it and then bring it through. So now you can start to do this. Blindfold, stop, look at it, go, okay, that's right, and then bring it through. Until all of a sudden, you just start to make it seem as one stroke. All right, and then that's how you can start to correct if you're somebody who says, oh, you know, my balls fly on me. My racket face is open. This is a great drill you can do on the court before you play or after you play or at home.